Well, what's up to all my chicken grease junkies out there on YouTube land? This is Fast Shimmy 71 coming at you from the Chicken Grease Garage. Well, I hope everybody is enjoying their Labor Day. Uh, kids go back to school. Wee! <laughs> okay, well, enough of that. Um, I am doing the final video. Uh, I know you guys have been asking about this car. Uh... The Dr. Cranky calendar build that I did, uh, which was the 69 Nova, uh, that took uh, quite a long time to do. Um, well, I was actually added as an honorable mention in the calendar, and there will be a, a picture of the vehicle in the calendar. Uh, I had uh, sent a message to Dr. Cranky, and I wanted to get his blessing to do the video uh, uh, of the car because I know he didn't want anybody to do videos of the car so I wanted to ask him first before I did the video in case uh, he didn't want anybody to do videos ahead of time I don't know I've seen a couple of videos but I don't know if they just wanted to just do it and I, I'm just not like that you know I like to ask for permission uh, because I don't want to screw things up <laughs> so uh, well the car is sitting right behind me. I know everybody's been asking and been wanting to see how this car came out. Uh, it's a beautiful car. Uh, I, a lot of work went into this thing. Uh, so um, I'm going to turn this around. So uh, don't go away. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And here is the box of the car that I did, which is the 1969 Chevy Nova Copo. Uh, this was a kit that was given, uh, well not given, it was traded by uh, my Joe and myself. We did a trade a while back. Um, so this was the card that I picked for the calendar build. Um, there is a lot of things going on with this card. This card does not look like this. I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to remove the box so you can see uh, what I did. So here we go. And there she is in all her glory. A 1969 Chevy Nova all fired up. Yes, all custom. All custom. Everything, everything, everything on this car is all custom. This is not your average Copo. <laughs> this is not your average Copo. Uh, it has a fuel cell, optimal battery. It has a NAS bottle all wired up. All ready to go. Uh, it has an open trunk, open and closing trunk. Uh, the doors open and close. I have a full roll cage. Um, racing seats with racing harnesses. Uh, the doors, I did not do the, the door panels because uh, if this were a real racing car, I would ride it. I'd rather have it light, real light. Um, and there is the engine, the monstrous 454 big block uh, Chevy uh, fuel injection with the K&N filters. Uh, this was that resin engine that uh, little Joe had sent uh, to me for this build. Uh, and it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful engine. Uh, there is a lot of detail in that engine. I made the fuel rails, as you can see. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. There are the fuel rails, uh, the Canon filters, you know, it is a real, real nice engine. Uh, there is the tachometer that I had made for it. Uh, that tachometer I made, it's all aluminum. Then there is the, the hood that I made for it. So it, uh showcase that monstrous engine that it has uh, there it is then uh, there is uh, there's the uh, the electric fuel fel uh, fuel fan uh, the 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 fan that I uh, put in it that's also something that little Joe sent to me uh, it's uh, it's uh, photo etch uh, electric fan that's all wired up. There's the interior. 
shifter that I made for it. Yes, and it does have a vinyl top. I added a vinyl top to this car. Uh, yes, that is uh, the second time that I attempt making a vinyl top. Uh, that was uh, something I learned from uh, Classic Plastic 101. Thank you, sir, for uh, you know for giving us those uh, how-to videos and those tip videos on how to do these things. Thank you, sir. Um, there's the up. The more battery right there. As you can see, it'll focus in on that. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. No, oh, it doesn't want to focus. Come on, focus. Well, you 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 know what it is. Ah, uh, there we go. And there's the bottom of the car traction bars I made, shackles I made for the leaf springs, uh, electric fuel pump right down there, racing fuel pump, uh, the slicks, you know I didn't go with a real big set of slicks, you know really big fat slicks, I wanted it, you know I wanted some average size slicks, you know some 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 nice size slicks, you know I didn't go with the really big fatties that I usually go with. Uh, I think those those came out really nice. So, and there are the headers down there for that monstrous 454. Um, aluminum drive shaft. All the goodies. All the goodies. So, guys, I hope you like what you see here. I put a lot of work and a lot of love into this thing. Uh, and I was added as an honorable mention in the calendar, which I am very, very excited for. Thank you, Dr. Cranky, for that. And congratulations to all the other guys that entered and got a spot in the calendar. So, without with that said, my brothers, this is Fast Jimmy 71 saying peace. And you know it, chicken grease. Laters.